All right, influencers, welcome to another jam session. This is where we get to go deep into someone's business, into one of the influencer icon members' business, and find out exactly what they're doing, what's working, the challenges they've got, and how they've overcome them, and how you can actually put that stuff in play too. So today we've got Marcel and Michelle. Guys, introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about who you are, what industry you do it for, and the name of your company and what that's all about. My background is corporate retail, so it is all about delivering a seamless and exceptional customer experience uh, that customers walk away wanting to have that experience over and over again. My background is architect, uh, builder, now short stay accommodation subject matter expert. So um, we touch all bases from my side of things as well as back across to Mishes. So we actually cater not just for guests, but we actually cater for uh, real estate agents, landlords, and investors. So people can invest with us. Uh, they get a, a healthy 7 to 9% return. That's what we actually promise. But we're actually delivering 16 to 25% currently and above. Um, as a guest, you get an incredible experience, whether it's from check-in through to check-out and beyond. Awesome. That's brilliant. So you guys have got a pretty interesting story, um, both separately as business owners and now together. Um, why did you start TIP? What was the challenge and what was your goal? You start. Okay. So I actually saw um, the influencer as being team three and just having an accountability holder where I need to do what I need to do. What was there before that was uh, Michelle uh, had really had me pushed through my resistance to short stay accommodation and um, found a niche within a niche and we've drilled down into that and we've actually really got to the the good stuff you might say yep. inside of that and um, so in that we've we've really uncovered um, something that's flying under the radar right now um, don't know of anyone else doing it the way that we're doing it uh, to the point where uh, we got confirmation yesterday where um, our first property that we got up and going is booked out 264% more than anyone else. In wow. Their, their comparable property. And wow. Now what, okay. What, yeah. What we've done now is, uh, so we launched into Airbnb. Uh, we're actually across a number of platforms and we're actually seeing what platforms uh, work best and uh, we're not cross-platforming everything at the moment. So it's our test measure and correct inside of this. And um, the other thing that uh, Michelle's actually gone and done, you know, I said, look, we, we need to go wider. Uh, had a look around, had a look at a couple of awesome plugins that uh, could go on the back of our website. And Michelle's really been organising all that sort of thing. So uh, we are now exposed to about 1.4, 1.5 billion people across the world in, uh, from a guest experience. Okay. Mish, do you want to add anything? Um, I'm just more going way back to the beginning of that question and then that to me becomes a second. But um, I guess just to answer that, ultimately to be able to use our existing website uh, found uh, a product that plugged into that that was going to get a far a far greater reach of guests coming to our website um, to be able to build on what we're already doing successfully mm. um, and then also to be able to start to really get clearer and clearer um, with where we are now, who our customer is and then how we're going to target them, how we're communicating to them, bringing them back, you know, for a repeat visitation, the things when they're there that they love and want more of. So it, it's really just getting more and more knowledge inside of that for us to yep. build on um, to really keep niching down into this niche that we found with our, our guest customer. And, and you guys have really you guys have really nailed that too because then what happened is is off the back of the conversation I had with Marcel the other day, the last six months has been pretty pretty huge for me, for you guys. What um tell me what happened there, what have, what have been the results so far and what was the catalyst for that to start okay. to sort of trend up? Okay, beautiful. So in that our our first couple of months was really looking around at what, what was out there and testing that. We did a lot of testing inside of that, seeing what worked, what didn't work and why. And then going, okay, we can actually we can actually go one step better. And this is where the niche within the niche was. And then started looking at that. We, I put a couple of months into that actually. So we hadn't done anything. It was all research. 
and then realised that the niche within the niche wasn't enough. We had to take it to a whole new level. Yep. So, and because most people think we're actually purchasing property, we're not. Um, we're actually doing associations with landlords, real estate mm. agents, etc. Um, it's all legal. It's all documented. And um, so inside of that, we've really taken this to a whole new level inside of the type of property that we actually use, um, how that's actually unlocked, uh, how that's then uh, presented as well. And then further to that, we, we now offer a whole suite of other things that hotels don't, don't even offer. And yep. it, it, it's inside of something that's exceptional where, you know, you might take your wife or, or husband out uh, or it could be corporates. You know, we, we do aim at corporates, but we're also middle to high net worth people as, as well. So someone who's not scared to spend a bit of cash, um, still well below what the top hotels are doing at the moment. Um, but in this as well, we've we've identified that there's a number of levels inside of this. So it's it's currently, uh, you know, we're we're in the middle to getting towards the upper of the of the bottom tier that we're in. Uh, we also have identified a second tier above that and a second uh, and a third tier above that. So now, what, what does that look like from a, um, from a, a dollars and cents value based on the last six months and the okay. people you've reached? Okay. So look, since, since January, when we actually really launched, um, we've, we've, uh, 150 K profit so yep. far. So that's not bad in five months, I reckon. That's awesome. Uh, and, we're, and we're not even out the back end of that yet. Yep. Um, over the next three to six months, we're looking at bringing on anywhere between 40 and 100 properties. Okay. And what does that look so, like down the track as far as a pipeline's <laughs> considered? <laughs> so, look, if we just unlock another 20, that's in profit-wise, that's anywhere, depending on... Uh, uh, sorry, let me, let me back it up. Yeah. 20 properties is uh, three... It's it's about three thirty to three fifty k profit. Um, if we look at uh, sixty properties, that's that's well over the million dollar mark. Profit. Wow, yeah. wow, that's huge. And yeah. what what's the key piece in that? You said something to me the other day. There, there was one key piece, and it was it was almost it wasn't almost a tactic so much as it was it was a cross between a tactic and a mindset shift. But if you were to let someone know uh, or give someone a piece of advice in the group now about what you did that made that actually doable for you guys? Because it was actually pretty simple and, and elegant yep. in how simple it was. So you, you'd be aware of this doing some landmark stuff. Do it as it's designed. Don't do it as you think it should be done. Just do it as it's designed. Follow the process no matter yep. what. You will then modify the process slightly to suit your niche, your market, but follow the process. So our launch call, they're now a brainstorm session. Yep. Um, a bit like what you guys call it. We still have the nine steps. Yep. And, you know, get into the solvent sessions, ask what, you know, I'm bumping up against this, like I've been, or we've been doing with you. Um, and then in the next call, rather than the, uh, so, sorry, the cold call is the brainstorm, the launch call is now the strategy session. Yeah, gotcha. And so when people book through Calendly, they're not seeing bulk call and launch call. They're seeing brainstorm and strategy. And so yeah. for them, there's a, oh, oh, I'm not going to be pitched anything. Well, no, not the first one. We're going to close you in the second one. It's um, value, isn't it? it? Yeah. It's it the is. word strategy. You go into a strategy session, it's about giving value. But even if they come out and they don't choose you, Correct. it's still a valuable place because you can go, Correct. hey, here's what I would suggest you start with. You can come yeah. back to us later, but... Yeah start Correct. here and that's Correct. brilliant i think that's the that's probably the one of the best messages i've heard from someone recently is just follow the system and the process yeah. Yeah. and the bits will fall into line yeah. and off you go so having said that guys just the last question i've got for you is what would be one word to describe the influence approach this might be hard for you marcel I nearly dropped a, uh, a clang of air. <laughs> go, go for it. Hey, this is a, this is yeah. an M rated version of this. So yeah, not a problem. Phenomenal. All right. Brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. And you? Yeah. Look, I would, I'd say awesome. Yeah. I want to, I want to say so much more, but I'd just say I'm, it's an absolutely awesome program. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No, you, you guys have been uh, just head down, bum up. You, you show up every Friday, every Monday, you give us the numbers. 
what you're doing, what's working, what's not working. Yep. And we see all the time and you just follow the system in the process and yeah. look at the smiles on your faces. I mean, it just tells the, tells the full picture. And what are you doing now? You're in Perth. You're we're in Perth. Perth. And we're, yeah. We're sourcing we're property. Yeah. Sourcing property and, uh, and, and alliances over here. Yeah. Two, two years ahead of our uh, schedule. Did you say at the SSI? Um, so all things going well, we, we will go global. So the plan was to go global in five, uh, all things lining up will be global in two. Um, and that will be at least a thousand properties. Yeah. That's unbelievable. I'm going to leave you guys there. Um, you enjoy the rest of your Perth trip. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll see you on the, the Friday post. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. No Cheers, worries, guys. Ciao. Cheers.